Hello, my name is Carrie Jolie. I am the Acting Associate Director for Rare Diseases here in the Division of Rare Diseases and Medical Genetics in the Center for Drug Evaluation and Review. And my journey in rare diseases really started back in medical training. Uh, I'm trained in pediatric GI and liver diseases as well as nutrition. And I trained at centers where many of my patients had rare disorders and rare diseases with no approved treatment. And I was always struck by the sense that no matter how hard I worked, I couldn't treat the underlying condition. And on the wards, I was known as a fixer, but all too often there was nothing I could do to permanently fix their conditions. And so this really drove me to seek a broader job and role within the FDA, where I could hopefully help be a bigger part of making a difference in what I saw as a great need for patients that I took care of. And I think that particularly those of us in pediatrics share a sense of really needing to be advocates for those that can't help themselves. Uh, and we've made tremendous progress here at the FDA with over 600 treatments approved for rare diseases since the passage of the Orphan Drug Act, but still 95% of rare diseases lack an FDA approved treatment. And so I'm honored to have a position in OND's new rare disease hub, combining the inborn error clinical review drug and a multidisciplinary team for rare disease programming and, and policy that puts me in a place where I can work to foster collaboration and communication on programs for drug products across the FDA and with patients and their caregivers affected by rare diseases. Uh, our goal is to facilitate support and accelerate the development of drugs and therapeutic biologics for rare diseases. And our most precious resource in rare disease is our patients. And they deserve drugs that meet our standards for both being safe and effective. I feel lucky to be here and lucky to wake up every day and go to work with my very hardworking colleagues working so hard to meet these goals and get therapies to the patients who need them.